Virgo, welcome. Alicia and Vince here from Two Mystics Tarot. This is a general reading. If you resonate with it, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell notification. Don't miss any uploads. Now let's dive right in and see what message this spirit has for you. All right, Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Let's see what message this spirit wants you to know. Enhance your life spiritually, physically, and financially. All right. All right, so we got the Ten of Pentacles, the Hierophant, Six of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, the Hermit, and the Strength card. So abundance, abundance, abundance is around the corner. Ten of Pentacles, right? So there is some sort of inheritance, money, promotion, bonus, something to do with this Pentacle world, 3D Earth world stuff, food, shelter, finances. In this care, in this case, most likely finances. So there is some mula, some cheddar coming your way, which is very, very beautiful. Now, when this enters your life, you really have to take a look at it and see how you're going to use it. Now, how you're gonna use it really relies on you, but in your case, if you summon the Hierophant's energy and really tap into your spirituality, you're gonna realize that, again, it's nothing but materialistic stuff, right? We all have bills to pay, money comes and goes, but it's nothing but a vibration. It's nothing but a vibration. Why are your guides letting you know this? Because you've been looking for six of cups, you've been looking for balance, financial stability for quite some time, and you're about to have it very, very soon. Now, when does that happen? When this enters your life, if you understand that money is energy and you're able to attract more energy to you, what does that mean? You can attract more money to you, right? So once you have it, they clearly are telling you you're going to lose that scarcity mindset of not having it, and then you're going to attract more and more and more to you. Very interesting, guys. Law of attraction, like attracts like. So the fact that you're getting money into your life soon, you're going to be even attracting more money after that because you're gonna have that financial stability you always wanted, very interesting. Now, next to that, we got the Queen of Cups, which goes to show your intuition is the reason that you're able to attract this money. You've done something in your life recently that has really, is paying dividends now. You sent out some good energy out to the universe, and now you're getting it right back. This is beautiful because something happened where you had a decision to make. It could have gone either way. You could have been negative or you could have been positive. Something happened which was dramatic. It hurt you deep down. But because you chose the positive route and you exercised the hermit's energy, which is what? Patience, patience, really not reacting and taking your time. What that did was level you up. And now you have what? The strength energy within you. You have that inner line within you, which is nothing but experience, right? So because of what you did and because of how you're going to deal with any negative situation, situations that are going to present themselves in the short term, you are going to be handsomely rewarded with financial aid that you've been seeking for quite some time. Absolutely, Virgo. That's exactly how I'm feeling as well. Two of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, and the Hierophant. Look for synchronicities, right? Now I got the overall energy with the Empress and Six of Wands. So again, it really does feel like you're in this creation mode. Like you understand that your manifestations are coming into fruition. You're going to get, again, a, a hefty pay out of some sort or some type of leveling up air, uh, situation in your life and it's almost like you're feeling this energy in the meantime with this two of pentacles three of wands energy just make sure that as you're waiting for this uh, manifestation to come into fruition you're just um, balancing out the juggling act you know you're balancing everything in your life you know not overthinking anything with this five of pentacles energy whenever we get into our thinking mind state a little bit too much that's when we know it's our ego coming into play and during this time before you were um, you know uh, successes come to you, your rewards, your victorious moments come to you. Really make sure that, again, you're staying in that high vibrational state of mind, really looking at things glass half full and not really becoming, um, you know, thinking more of like, okay, where where is it? Where are my manifestations? I know they're coming. You know, whenever we send that vibration out, it always contradicts what our manifestations are. And I can see that because with the Knight of Cups and the Hierophant next to that, again, the Knight of Cups, all about offerings coming to you, right? Offerings that are going to make your heart center feel very, very full. So we want to make sure that we always are attracting that type of frequency. And I can see here, that's exactly what's happening for you. Once you um, have this come into your life, it's going to give you this Hierophant energy, this new sense of enlightenment 
confident. And again, the higher fat was clarified with the sun. So it just, again, goes to show how confident and how radiant you're going to be feeling in this next little bit here. And again, the only real message that your guys want you to know is, is during this waiting process, just making sure that you're balancing everything in your life, not becoming too exhausted, not giving away too much of your energy. Exactly. Balance, balance, balance is what I have here as well, because the star, we got the star, seven of the cups, ten of swords, page of uh, swords, the queen of swords, like for synchronicities, guys, and the six of wands. Balance, 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 right? It comes down to that. The star card lets you know that for a while there, you were overwhelmed. For a while there, you were really, you know, you felt like you couldn't go on no more. Whether it was bills piling up, whether it was dealing with the kids, whether it was whatever the case was, it was just burdening and it was just keeping on going and going and it was getting bigger and bigger. But even though you felt like you couldn't what persevere, you did. And because of that, that is why you're being rewarded. The universe always rewards when you make progression, right? Now, because of this, Seven of Cups, what does this mean, guys? Opportunities. You are, they are just so happy with you. Your guides are really, really happy with you. They're gonna give you a lot of different opportunities to choose from. Now, it really comes down to you and how you decide to, you know, use these opportunities. Are you going to uh, squander them or are you going to really invest them or are you really going to learn from them, right? And these opportunities aren't always financial, right? In this case, it could be love as well. In this case, it could be friendship. In this case, it could be, you know, physically, you know, helping you in different ways but you're going to get a lot of abundance here now it is very very important that again you focus on the right things because if you focus on the ten of swords energy here right here and lower your vibrations lower your shield basically you will be attacked by lower dimensional energies right when this happens you're basically in the wrong frequency you are going to lose this energy you currently have and you won't be able to attract the abundance that's currently coming your way so again do not self-sabotage. Your guides are telling you, do not self-sabotage. The moment this abundance comes, do always still be very happy, still be very grateful for it. The Page of Swords lets you know right here that clarity, clarity, clarity is exactly what you need in order to think clearly and in order to take advantage of what's coming your way. And in order to think like that, harness the Queen of Swords energy that you see here, which is someone who's very strategic, right? This person doesn't react right away. So understand that you are the queen, you have the experience, experience of the queen, you've leveled up, the star card lets you know that you've already dealt with turbulence, it's only going to go get better from here, but do not fall victim to self-sabotage. Why? Because you're almost there, the six of wands, like you're at the victory lap. This manifestation is on its way here. Do not, do not, do not self-sabotage. Exactly, Virgo. Also, I have the six of wands, right? You are literally crossing the finish line, so keep it going. Queen of pentacles energy, this is absolutely you. Besides that, strength card, eight of wands, eight of cups, ace of pentacles. Okay, so with this queen of pentacles energy, just know, again, a balance is sort of the vibe I keep feeling here, making, you know, I feel like you're you're just really in this wonderful state where you're able to harmoniously come together, all the areas, bring together all the faucets of your life and really just, you know, feeling your absolute best right now. So again, when this does, when this new chapter opens and, you know, again, gratitude is always the best way to show our appreciation to the angels, to the universe, because I can see here at the end that you're going to have to use some inner strength. So again, we want to be the most balanced now because you're going to have to um, use your inner strength because with the eight of wands energy, a lot of fast momentum is going to be coming towards you. And whenever we move really fast, that that's always, again, there's always that moment where you really have to, again, focus and be really dialed into who it is you are because when we move so fast, it's not, we have to go on autopilot almost. So we're not going to have the time to, you know, we really want to make sure we apply those tools and techniques when things aren't going quite so fast. And with this eight of cups here at the end, it's looking, Virgo, like you're going to have to walk away from something. And that's where this inner strength comes in. So again, the universe is guiding you, pushing you, giving you rewards for your hard efforts. And always remember that whenever we are moving up in life, we do have to let go of certain things in order to continuously um, have our growth. So that is going to happen in your reality soon. But not to worry because it is going to bring you the Ace of Pentacles energy, way, which is all about new, uh, new abundance, new beginnings. So it is going to be worth it in the end. But you will have to summon up a little bit of strength to handle it, but it's nothing you can 
can't handle Virgo, it's only going to benefit your life, baby. It's definitely going to benefit your life. There's nothing but abundance here. And again, Virgo, you've leveled up. You got nothing to worry about. You are at a position right now where things are just going to get better and better and better for you. All right, now let's quickly get a message from you guys to see exactly what they want you to know before your next reading. So you guys are letting you know what? Ask. Look at that. They love you. They're saying, ask us to help you in this situation and we will immediately go to work on your behalf. We're governed by many universal laws and among them is free will that allows you to make your own choices and decisions. So we patiently await your request. Your guides are letting you know what? Ask for their help. Spirit, what should I do? Uh, angels, help me out. Uh, uh, a source, which direction should I head in? Ask the universe and the universe will gladly help you out. This is all they've been waiting for. All right. Hope you enjoyed your reading, Virgo. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell notification, guys. Do not miss any uploads. We can't wait to your next reading. Until then, check out these ones right here. We'll chat soon, Virgo. Bye for now. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Virgo. Virgo.